everyone and welcome to a bonus vlogmas video in this video i'm going to be telling you what i got ali for christmas ali is my 14 year old son for you guys that don't know and oh my god i have struggled this year with his christmas presents i never usually struggle with christmas presents like his main presents and little presents and all that i never struggle but this year has been pretty tough because ali has just changed so much in the past year also he decided at the start of the year he wanted a uh, Xbox, the new Xbox Series X and then coming up to September time he decided that he just didn't want it. He actually sent me a text, if I still have it I'll put it on the screen, it was like there's no point in you paying £500 for me just to play one game and he can still use that game which is FIFA on the Xbox One which is what he does have. So I was thrown into a bit of a crisis, I was like oh my god. I don't even know what else that he would want and I asked him, I was like, you're going to have to tell me what you want for Christmas because I literally can't think of anything and he struggled as well, he's like, I don't know what I want. Eventually he did settle on a couple of things which Mark and I, his dad and I have split between us but it's been a struggle. I don't think there's going to be any big surprises this year. <laughs> At this stage I haven't quite decided that yet. Last year I did surprise him with an iPhone 11 which I hadn't asked for and it was, the reaction was amazing. Oh my god, watch your Christmas Day vlog last year. It's one of my favourite videos ever. I still have that one clip saved and I'll show it to everybody. <laughs> show it to everybody, you get so embarrassed. Anyway, this year I'll tell you what he asked for and all that later but I'm going to start with the stocking fillers first. Stocking fillers are usually the hardest part for Ali because I do his advent box which is made up of like stocking fillers and stuff and his Christmas Eve box, same thing. So I usually do struggle with this but I always get there in the end, it just takes a, li a little bit more brain power. The way I usually do Ali's Christmas is I make sure I have his main present first and then I'll go out and with a certain amount of money in my hand or in my bank and I'll be like right that's it, that's my budget, I need to get a load of little stuff usually to B&M and places like that or from Amazon but this year what I've done was I did start buying stuff in January and the sales and all that and I've been getting them little bits when I can when I've been thinking about it because I wasn't able to get his main present. I literally have just got one of his main presents yesterday there's a couple of main presents I'll get into that anyway stocking fillers I got him um, some socks he's always needing socks that boy always needing socks I got him this little desktop football stationery set thing. It includes two pencils, an eraser football, two eraser foosball players, which I think you put onto your pencils, and two cardboard cutout goals. That's maybe not a great idea for school, but it sounds fun. I think I got this in the January sales at Morrison's. I got him some of these Mike and Ike cotton candies. I got these, you all have seen these in a haul ages ago, I got them and I got them for myself and I got a packet for Ali as well. I got them a packet of the Percy Pigs Festive Helpers, a bar of white chocolate orange. I went for the white chocolate because my mum usually gets some like the regular chocolate orange, the, the actual orange one. I got them some bicycle LED lights. These were from Tesco this year, just recently I've got these in the last couple of months. Because he's out on his bike all the time, his bike that I got him last year. From studio I got him this Chelsea mug and it actually has his name, his surname on it. And this might sound odd but if you've seen any of my Vlogmas videos, I did get Ali a lint calendar and I got him the lint hot chocolate and I bought it off of the website and when I was also on the website I saw this, which is lint chocolate spread and Ali loves chocolate spread. So I got him a little jar of this to put in his stocking. I know it sounds daft, but if you know Ali, you know that he loves and is obsessed with lint chocolate. I think this is a random little piece that I picked up in the January sales. And it is, it is um, in the, when was the date? I have to check, on oh, May 2022. And it's this little skull shaped fiery chilli oil. I can't remember if that was Tesco's or Morrison's or something. It would have been in a supermarket that I got it because in January that's the only shops that were open. And this is something that did just arrive yesterday and it's an AirPod cover. It's like a silicone AirPod cover. I think that's the right. Like it's a cover for his AirPods. 
this is actually not the one that I wanted to get them. If the one that I want to get them comes in stock before Christmas, I'll just give them them both. But this is a Reese's peanut butter one. And the one that I actually wanted to get them was a Doritos one. So if that comes in stock, I'll get them that as well. And then they can choose between the two. I am done with these stocking fillers. I think I've done all right with these stocking fillers this, this year actually. I uh, will do the stocking filler test, which means once I've wrapped them all, I will put them in the stocking and see if there's any more space. And if there is, I'll maybe get another few little knickknacks for it. He also gets an apple and an orange and a fiver in his stocking. It used to be 50p back when kids could get stuff for 50p at the shop, but it's, I mean, inflation and all that. And he's 14 now. He's like, if you gave him a pound, he'd just be like, what am I meant to do with that? He'd buy sell a can of iron brew or Rubicon or something with it. So I'll give him a fiver. And now for the main Christmas present section. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit worried that Ali's presents aren't going to look... You know, when he comes in and he's just like, wow, there's so many presents and stuff like that. I'm worried that he's not going to have that this year. But then it does get to that stage when you're a teenager, doesn't it? I was like that. Plus, their stuff's more expensive. Anyway, Ali decided for his Christmas this year, this is going to sound so strange probably, that he wanted new trainers and a new jacket and I gave him a budget and he was to send me pictures of all the stuff that he liked or wanted so he doesn't know exactly what ones that I've got so there'll still be a tiny little element of surprise. Ali's actually pretty good like he won't ask for really expensive trainers and stuff like any other time of the year he knows to ask like if he really wants them and he really wants me to spend the money on stuff he knows that he has to ask for it for Christmas or a birthday because I won't just spend that money willy nilly. Anyway, the trainers that I got for him are not my cup of tea but they're these Nike TNs I think they're called. They're actually alright. They're not too loud. Ali went through a stage a few years ago where everything was like a luminous green and orange and all that, very colourful. But now he's settled down a bit, he won't even look at that kind of thing. And the jacket that he wanted was this, I don't know really how to say this name brand, but I think it's Napajiri. Napajiri? I think that might be it. I might be saying it a bit wrong, but it's, it's this. And that is... Yeah, it's like a, a, a very light grey colour, so I usually don't buy colours like this in that for Ali because he plays football a lot, he gets muddy a lot and everything, but apparently it does wash really well this jacket, so we'll see how it goes. I did get this in the Black Friday sale because I couldn't justify spend I mean I would have if I had to have because that was the jacket that he really wanted but I wouldn't spend the kind of money it was £175 just full price that jacket I was just honestly having heart attacks even though I gave him a budget for both his trainers and his jacket I gave him a budget together and he did kind of stick to that budget a little bit but I still couldn't justify that kind of money it's a lot of money and for his birthday I did give him money and we went out and spent money mostly in JD and he spotted another few things that he wanted to, he would like to have and he asked me for them and I just you know what I just got him a JD gift card so he can go and get them himself get whatever he wants to sell and he can do that online or he can do it in store in the Boxing Day sales or something like that so that is another part of his main present. And one other thing that Ali did ask for that I knew that he wanted, he said that like as soon as Christmas was over last year he wants another one, was the American Hamper gift that I gave him last year. So last year it was a pretty small one, it fitted in a basket and that and I think I went a bit OTT this year, I literally bought him practically everything that was on the site that he hadn't already had last year. <laughs> so. It is a pretty big box this year. I'm not going to put it in a hamper. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to put it, keep it all in the box and just wrap it up and then when he opens it, you'll see what it is. So I'll show you what I've got him in that. Let me move this big bag first. So I've got him a packet of tackies, the blue heat. We have tried these before. I think it was in a vlog we tried them actually. He'd been wanting to try them and he really, really liked them. So I did get him a big massive packet of these. I also got him a packet of these Hairs Carolina Reaper Extra Hot Chips. Crisps. They look like Watsits. Ali does like like his spicy crisps. I also got on these cheese and ham toasted Cheetos. A smaller packet of Takis and it's a Fuego. 
I don't know what that means. I got um, a pack of also these. I think they're. I think these are Takis brand as well. Can't see it on it. But these are Fuego hot nuts. And then I got um, a few tubs of Pringles. I just got them a small tub of these pizza ones. It has had these before, but I just got them them. We can get them in the American candy store. We can get all of this stuff probably in the American candy stores here, but the American candy stores here are so flippin' expensive. I mean, uh, American Imports is expensive, but I found a site, it's called Jessica's Sweets. I'll link it down below. I think their prices are a little bit more reasonable, I suppose is the word, <laughs> because it is still a bit expensive. I got them these beef taco Pringles. I got them chicken souvlaki Pringles. And I also got him some ketchup Pringles. I don't know if he's had these before, but I knew that he would enjoy that. I did buy him some drinks as well. I got him a little bottle of orange soda. I did not know it was going to come like this. This is obviously out of a multi-pack. I think it was only a pound or something like that, but it is orange soda, orange popsicle soda or something. I got him a couple of cartons of the Kool-Aid jammers. This one is watermelon and this one is snapping green apple. I also got them some of the Kool-Aid sachets because we absolutely, well, the kids and Ali all loved them last year. We tried quite a few of them. And if you guys have these and you're making them, you have to try and read the instructions on the back. You need to add sugar, quite a lot of sugar actually, ice cubes and water to them. But apparently they taste amazing, the kids love them and they were such a nice like little summer drink as well for them. So I did get them more packets this year than I got them last year. I got them Jamaica flavour, rum, green apple, it's not rum, <laughs> it's not rum. I'm just trying to work it, it doesn't say what the flavours are, I'm guessing like um, mango and pineapple and stuff like that. Um, I also got them green apple, tropical punch, mandarina tangerina, peach mango and lemonade. And the last drinks thing that I got. Oh, maybe that's not orange cream soda. I'll need to look that up. This is the orange cream soda. This is so random, I know, but I got them a couple of packets of like the little um, cereals, the little ones, the ready-to-go ones, you just add milk. So I got them a packet. I think these are, or they might be biscuits, I'm not sure. They're Teddy Grahams. The Cocoa Pebbles are definitely cereal. They're definitely cereal. And another tub thing that I got, I mean, like these, I did get them some sort of nutter butter last year. I think it was just a small pack. And these are little nutter butter bites. And another thing that might sound a bit random, but Ali really loves Angel Delight, butterscotch flavour Angel Delight. And I saw this on the website and it's butterscotch flavour jello pudding, which I think's like Angel Delight. I'm not sure, I've never had pudding before. The um, American style one. So I got on one of them and I also got a banana cream one as well, just so we can try it and see what they're like. I got on some of these, what they call on the website, theatre boxes of sweets and treats. I got on some cinnamon bun cookie dough bites. Frosty Nerds, these are Christmas themed. Gobstopper Snowballs, again Christmas themed. And peanut butter cookie dough bites. When we were meant to go to America in 2020, one thing Ali really wanted to do was go to Walmart and just get one of every flavour of Oreo that they do but it, obviously that never happened because of Covid but I saw these on the website and I had to get on one of the actual packets of Oreo that you get from America and it was chocolate hazelnut flavour that I got on um, which is like chocolate spread, you know Ali likes chocolate spread. I think Ali's had both these flavours before but they didn't really have much of a variety or ones that I didn't think that he'd had before I don't know if I said that right but you know what I mean um, so I just got them one, it's a single pack of a uh, Pop-Tart and I got them Hot Fudge Sunday and Frosted S'mores. He's definitely had that before. And Ali's had these before but I know he really really likes the American M&M Caramels because it's soft caramel and not the hard caramel that we get here. So I got him just a small packet of them. Doesn't need a big packet when we've got all this stuff. I got him a Kit Kat Fruity Cereal flavour. Another biscuit item that I got on were these fudge stripes. And I also got um, a packet of s'mores, like it's already made. I don't think you have to melt it or anything like that. You can just eat it. It's just like a biscuit snack pack. I just found another packet of the Kool-Aid sachet and this one is mango. And I also found another savoury snack and this is 
Combo's Stuffed Snack Pizzeria Baked Pretzels and they're made with real cheese apparently. Right, there's like only a few items left, I swear. I know this is a massive box. My plan is that he's not going to have to spend money on crap for ages. Um, I got him some sweet tarts ropes. Twizzlers filled bites. They're stuffed with strawberry flavour. I got him a couple of bars of Laffy Taffy. This one is what flavour? Banana. And this one is strawberry. I got him a packet of these Sour Punch Apple Straws. I think it's apple apple flavour, obviously. <laughs> I've never heard of this before, but I got him a Zagnut bar. It's a crunchy peanut butter toasted coconut, so we'll see if he likes that. And I got him a bar of this grape flavoured Airheads. It's like a chewy bar, like a refresher's chewy bar. And then I did get him a Reese's Fast Break chocolate bar. I don't think I've seen this before. I maybe have, I just forget stuff a lot. And then I got him a packet of these Warhead Little Worms. Sour, outside, sweet and chewy, inside. And these are just fruity flavour. And the last thing that I got him was a packet of these Sour Patch Kids and it's the tropical flavour. And that was everything for his American hamper box. I'm going to quickly put this away and come back to you and show you the rest of his actual presents that I've got him. So I got him a standard gift set. It usually is Lynx. We are kind of trying to keep him away from Lynx at the minute because he did have a little breakout on his body. He's had a few trials with Lynx and all. He still uses the body spray and that. So I might still get him a little Lynx one or his dad's might. But I did get him specifically a Nivea gift set just because I don't want to always encourage him to use Lynx. But he loves it so much. He loves Lynx. He's a teenage boy. Of course he does. And I also get Ali some sort of game for his Christmas every single year. And we absolutely love big potato games. Um, so I got him this one this year, which is Weird Things Humans Search For. Big Potato Games is really good, it's such a good um, company, they really do really good board, like modern board games and fun board games, you have such a giggle sometimes with them. I got him um, a packet of Calvin Klein's last year and he really wanted another packet this year so I got him these ones. And another thing that he mentioned they wanted was a Mason Mount poster but I was looking on Amazon and I couldn't find one that wasn't the one that he already had or the same picture that he already had in it, just maybe with a different background. So what I did get him, and I'll put the picture up on the screen, is just got him a random Chelsea print poster. So that's what that is. And I also got him a Chelsea duvet set. And I also got him a new pillow for his bed. He's got a couple already. And I got him an Xbox controller one. These are all just random little bits that I pick up throughout the year to fill up his Santa sack and go with his main present. I've also got um, a double pack of pyjama bottoms. Ali doesn't really wear like full pyjamas anymore. The only time that he really does that is like Christmas when he has his Christmas pyjamas and that. But mostly it's just pyjama bottoms he wears. So they're non-Christmassy new pyjamas. And another thing that I got um, which you can't see really is a new bathrobe because his last one I mean, it's been too wee for him for ages. He did used to like to put a bathrobe on in the mornings because he sleeps in pyjama bottoms, so he puts on the bathrobe to cover up his top and all that. But he can't do that anymore because it is far too wee. Like, he literally can't even get it on anymore. So I've got him a new bathrobe. It's a charcoal black colour and it has his name on it as well. I've got it from Studio Catalogue. This is the most random one I think I've got him this year and it's a giant whoopee cushion. And this was actually from B&A, but it was only three times. And Ali likes a blanket, so I got him um, a new one this year and it's a popcorn fuzzy blanket. This is what it looks like. I also got him um, this chili challenge from B&M and that was £3. That's the kind of thing that Ali will actually really like doing. I just hope that he doesn't want me to do it with him. He can get his dad to do it with him. And Ali's really into all these aftershaves and smelly stuff and that, so I did pick him up a box of these Calvin Klein miniature aftershaves, I think they're aftershaves, or just a uh, colognes. Uh, this is the one, I got him the big one of this last year, he absolutely loved it. He still has some left because he doesn't use it all the time, like he doesn't wear it to school, he'll wear it to um, when he's going out with his friends like down 
the fort and all that. And that's everything that I've got Ali so far. I think what I'm going to do is once I've wrapped everything I'll do the Santa sack test. Not that everything has to fit in the Santa sack but if the Santa sack's not full I'm going to have to go and get on more stuff. Just a few odds and ends and all that. I really don't want to get on more chocolates or anything though because it does have enough. There's a part of me, I know it sounds really bad but there's a part of me that just wants to have that same kind of reaction that it had last year but I'm absolutely never going to be able to think of anything like that because there's nothing that's going to blow his mind like me buying him an iPhone because he never thought that would happen. So I think I'm just being stupid. I think I've just set myself up too high last year and now I'm panicking that he's going to expect that every year but that's just stupid because even he struggled to think of things that he wanted this year. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.